Hey, good morning. So today I think is 79, but who's counting? Oh, just leaving this, that shelter down there. It was an uphill, so, and it's like 0.3 off trail. Working the way back to trail. And today, very shortly, three miles or so, we'll hit 800 miles. So that's a big one. And the boys are up there. That's about all I got for now. I'm already burnt out from that little hill from the shelter. It's ridiculous. But just keep on moving every day. We don't have a very big day planned. Just like 18 miles or something. We'll see. I'm just a little beat up already from just walking back to the trail here. Just now getting to the trail from the side trail from that shelter. My calf is already locked up. That's fun. Anyways, it'll be a nice day because starting earlier than we have been. Boy, I just love it when my calf locks up so soon. And then it's, oof, gosh, ridiculous. And then uh, that way it'll work itself out sooner, right? This is the second time I record the intro. I'm just gonna stick with this one, I think. Damn. 800 miles. Don't be it. I need to get I need wider picture. We're all here. Mini family reunion. So cheers to you guys. Ooh. We're gonna have our celebration. Cheers. Shotgun. Cheers. Warm beers. Warm beers. Warm beers. Mm. And then we're gonna go What is that, tequila? Mm-hmm. That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't even go yet? 800. Get that little bag. Go, go, go. Put an interesting shot. I can kind of see it. Seems less effective. <laughs> I mean, but he won. Oh, wait, or do, are you done? Fuck one. Oh, a little shit. bit left. Hey, Hondo. All right, we have passed 800 miles on trail. That is less than 300 miles to half. Ha! And uh, yeah, moving right along. Probably only three miles done for the day and it's been uh, like, I don't know, it's 10.30, going on 11 probably. It's horrible. That means, yeah, we left at 8.30ish, 9.30. I don't know, we've been walking for a minute, but I uh, feel very tired. Again, go figure. Mornings suck. <laughs> Whew, someone just passed me and they said there is trail magic about a mile down here at the parking lot. So if that's true, and it's not Queen Diva, because Queen Diva's supposed to be, or plant, not supposed to be, but you know, planning on doing some, uh, it was supposed to be around uh, probably seven miles from here. So if she's not this one, then that will be two for the day. Planned anyway, that will be sweet. Although it would be nice to get rid of some of the weight in the bag from the food, but trail magic is always way better. So I cannot wait to get down there and find out. And it was supposed to rain. It's holding off. Hopefully it stays away because that would scare trail magic away too. So we will find out. Just had trail magic down there at the road that, before this. Nice little bridge. Cause he's back in the filming game. Catch up this filming. Us being stupid over the bridge. The trail magic was perfect. It started raining a little bit there, but I can't, I cannot stand walking in them in the rain gear so i don't know if i'll send that home here so shortly or not i feel like i should have them just in case but damn i really can't stand it like i'd rather get wet from 
whatever sprinkles hit me right now and overheat the way it makes me overheat. But besides the fact, the trail magic was they had Mountain Dew there, which I greatly appreciated. I didn't drink some of that. And then also they had like Subway catering kind of. So it was a veggie sandwich and then you just put whatever kind of meat you want on it. And I had a whole foot long <laughs> with like probably seven teaspoons of mayonnaise. So that alone right there is a thousand calories and mayonnaise alone pretty much. So that should be a good start for when I get to the mountain. And the other trail magic is like six miles away now. So yeah, we'll see if we'll have room for that. But we shouldn't have a problem getting up the hill energy wise, hopefully. I came over this hill and there's like a, it's off trail a little bit, but there's a lake. Then there's a, like a marina over there. Can't really see. And a bridge and it looks like a, kind of like of a dam. Small one, but it's a pretty. All right, we just poop map. He just turned the corner up there. We're not gonna see him again since it is a hill, but it is a little bit after 4.30, we got to Virginia 60, which was the road that Queen Diva was going to be out with the uh, trail magic. But apparently, I guess, it's, uh, she said if it's raining, she wasn't going to be there. So, not there. So, ate lunch, and really quickly, actually. And, yeah. <sighs> Koozie waited like usual. You know, I think he'd be done in his days with like six, seven hour days, but he does take a long breaks and then does wait at like the top of the hills. So, yeah, makes his days just as long as mine. Oh, well, let's get up this. We got 2.8 miles to get to the top. And it is exactly 2,000 feet up. I told myself it's going to be like two hours. So a little bit after 6.30, finally get up top. And so that's less than a mile and a half, an hour. I'll just, I don't know. I've tried eating a, a bunch more and I stretch. I drink a bunch of water, electrolytes, caffeine. It don't matter. I still can't get up the hills. at a pace that I would like, like at least two miles an hour. It just, at least just keep on being on the walk. I don't care how slow it is. No, every 50 feet, if I'm lucky, an elevation up. So I'm maybe 0.1, if I'm lucky, mile, I have to stop. It's, it's like that the whole trail since the beginning. It, it has, that has not gotten better. Everything else has gotten better except for that. So I guess I'm just, dealt, just stuck with it. So I'm gonna just maybe carry less food since the food is not, eating a whole bunch of food isn't working. So might as well not carry that much. I see plenty of other people not carrying half as much food from as I do. So whatever. Anyways, this is <laughs> supposed to be bald knob and it doesn't look very bald now, does it? Not a view. I mean, this fog said it wouldn't be view anyway, but there was not a view. There was one kind of coming up, but it was not at the top. That's for sure. This is definitely not bald. I'm just uh, irritated, I guess, if you cannot tell. <laughs> and got soaked right at the end of the day. It's like, come on. I don't care if it rains. Just do it early enough so I'm not, like, almost... It's supposed to stop at 7, so it finally poured right before 7. Whatever, I'm done. This is so negative. Hey, starting to clear up a little bit. Sorry for being a little down earlier. I just, uh, I don't know if it's the rain jacket that gets me in a bad mood or what, but it just overheats me. But we have a little bit left to go, like, less than two and a half miles and it's it's already kind of late it's uh quarter after seven 
So, yeah, I'll probably not make it to camp till 8.30ish, maybe a little later, because right now I'm working up the last climb, and there's still a mile to the top of it, but it doesn't look like it'll be too bad. And anyways, yeah. So, after this mile up, one and a half down, basically, so it should be okay. There was a shelter back there, but you had to go off trail. It had a side trail, like 0.6 of a mile. So, total, that's 1.2 extra miles for no reason. So, yeah. Onward. Hey, we are up here on Cole Mountain. My other uh, trekking pole just broke the glue. Can't see anything again. It fogged back up. Unfortunately. But this would have been a better view, I think, than the bald, of course. And of course, it's windy, so yeah. One, like a mile to camp. 1.3 to camp. Yes. And it's not eight yet, so I should be okay. Uh, it's unfortunate this weather right now. I don't know how open this is, and now I'll never know. It could be just a view of a bunch of trees or a bunch of mountains. Don't know. Mm hmm. But I'm thinking you get a little bit of a valley view if I can see those ones. Got a little bit of a view. It's not gonna be here long though. This is coming through. I just got up here to the top of this next little bump in time. That's pretty down there though. The sunrise is definitely in that direction. It's just not strong enough to burn all this off. Made to camp and water was 0.3 away, so that's a nice extra bonus at the end of the day. There's been a bunch of deer on the way down here, though. They are gone now, but yeah. I'm beat. Uh, Caleb's not going to be able to make it. His knee's hurting. I think it's because we're pretty sure because he switched to different shoes. So I don't think he's used to them. But me and Kuzi are up here. We've already got the tent set up. Just gonna eat and go to sleep because we got 20, 21 miles planned tomorrow. The Harper's Creek shelter. And then after that, we're gonna go to Devil's Backbone Brewery or something like that. With like eight miles that day. But each day has some great climbs. So Yippee. <laughs> and yeah, we're camped in this little meadow. I know you can't really see it, sorry. But that's gonna be it for the night. Thanks for watching, have a good one.